heading off to Willy Funds uh, to go and check in at Paluli, where we'll be spending the next three nights. Okay, we've checked in at uh, Early Funds and now we're on the gravel road to Baluli. So uh, you check in there for your stay at Baluli and uh, then we're there. It did seem that the guy at the reception was having a bit of an issue with the system, so it took us longer to check in there than I think it took us to check in the park. Um, not sure what the hold up was. And yeah, anyway, so we're, we're now off to Baluli. Going down roads where it says reserved guests only and you're not a reserved guest. Willifunt's rest camp is a lovely rest camp based on a hill on the banks of the Willifunt River. The word Willifunt is the Afrikaans word for elephant, and so it's not surprising to see elephants in the river below. The rest camp has a lovely viewing area overlooking a bend in the Willifunt River. And while it is a great place to stay, Willifunt has no camping facilities. Paluli Satellite Rest Camp fulfills this requirement and is situated around 13 km by road from the Willifunt Rest Camp. Paluli Satellite Camp is a rustic campsite that has 6 rondals and 15 sites. The campsite is rustic in that it does not have any electricity, but it has running water for ablutions and freezer space if you require it. The freezers and hot water are run on gas. Belule was the only accommodation for black visitors to the Kruger under the apartheid regime and was originally called Early Funds Rest Camp. The current Early Funds Rest Camp was built around 1961 and the name was transferred to the new rest camp and the existing facility was named Belule, which is a Songa name for the Early Funds River. The rustic tranquility of Belule makes it a sought after rest camp and is often booked up a year in advance. So take note of this if you are wanting to plan a stay at Belule. Rack of ribs done to perfection.
sun. And uh, yeah, we're heading off to Satara Pass, to Latava, not Satara, Latava. <laughs> and we're going to go see if we can uh, have a look at the Elephant Museum. But also see what you can get before then. So it's been a very quiet morning so far. And we stopped at uh, the Olifant's uh, lookout point and we saw a couple of uh, hippo, crocodile, wallaback and parlor down in the distance. The general advice people has given, are given is that you should go out in the early mornings and the early evenings to, um, to see game because of the heat of the day um, normally takes them to shelter um, but yeah that's not working for us this uh, day so uh, yeah but it's a nice quiet drive and uh, yeah we along the S44 um, past the Olifant's lookout and we're just enjoying the quiet drive We're sitting on the banks of Engelhart Dam, on the southern side of the dam. Yesterday we were at the Matimba uh, bird hide and that's on the northern side. We did a bit that side by Lotaba and today we're on the southern side. Uh, yeah, and so far we've seen giraffe and elephant and we've been doing quite a lot of uh, identification of birds. So yeah, today although we're the herd nerds have learned to become bird nerds. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've identified, I think, probably 20, about 20 new species. When I say it's new species that, you know, we've seen before, but we've actually now spent time identifying them and stuff like that. So, yeah, it is uh, a bit more different for us today, but definitely spending the time well here in the park and really enjoying it. It's nice and warm. It's going to be about 31 or 32 to today. And we're going to head off to the Tava shortly for some breakfast. Really looking forward to that. It's about, oh, it's half past nine already. Didn't even know it was that late <laughs> and haven't had breakfast. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go do that so long. We'll see you later. This is the Lataba Day Visitor site. Very neat and tidy. Nicely set out. Quite a couple of uh, picnic spots and a bridge across the river to the main camp, rest camp. And it looks like we have a big marula tree here uh, for some shade. Very nice. This morning we're having bacon, egg, and mushrooms and we're cooking all on our new stove that was given to me for my birthday by my family so thanks guys we then visited the elephant hall but this visit has already been shown in our previous video it's two o'clock in the afternoon and we're leaving the Taba. we had an ice cream we had a bit of a break here and it's about 33 degrees and we're heading off to
morning everyone. We it's Saturday. We are first in line at the gate. Twenty fourth of September, Heritage Day. Oh. Yeah. National Bright Day too, so compulsory oh. brying today. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, today we're going to head down the S89, down towards Timbavati. The S89 crosses the H15 and then becomes the S39, which you'll remember from our Timbavati tourist uh, video is the road that we took to get to Timbavati picnic spot. So we're going to go down there and have another breakfast, get all nostalgic about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, just going to go down and have a breakfast, uh, see it from a different angle and hopefully stop off at Rottlepan and uh, Petrobler Dam again. So, uh, and you Tracy? Cool. I'm ready. Ready for the day. We're on the S39 uh, um, on our morning drive. It's uh, just gone five past seven. And Grant uh, spotted a, a lion in the bush here. Um, it's about 30 or so meters from us, um, a, a lioness. And just across from her, there is um, her mate. The male lion is lying down just behind the trees. So we are very, very happy. It's such a Always such a special sighting to see them. So sure, every now and then she just she turns her head. Yeah, this is the third of the big five that we've seen for the weekend. So for the big five over weekend, we're hoping to knock off the big five. <laughs> so we're slowly getting there. You know, and as soon as she um, puts her head down, she, she's gone, disappeared. Um, yeah, I think we were very fortunate this year. We've got this line sighting all to ourselves. Not another car yeah, around us. Quite something. So we've just left the uh, line sighting and uh, yeah, we had a bit of a banoda at Wormluck. Um, we had been sitting there for about 20 minutes and didn't realize we had left our car lights on. I need to try and start the car and it was dead. Switched the lights off and uh, the GPS and everything like that. Gave it a couple of seconds and tried two or three times and then it got going. Even if we were prepared to try and get out and get the car started, I don't think anybody else was going to. But uh, it, it was a bit of a, a close one. And We're at uh, Timbavati picnic spot. We're actually about to leave. We've had a good, hearty breakfast. What did you have, Tracy? Oh, a real meaty breakfast. <laughs> Bangers, bacon, bacon, egg, tomato, onion. Full house. On bread. <laughs> On bread. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to head off to uh, Willie Fun's camp. Uh, to go and uh, get some supplies, but uh, we've got some traveling to do before we get there and 
quite strange the last time we were at Timavati in June go and see a video if you haven't seen that one <laughs> it was cold and windy and guess what we got here today it was windy so we don't, we don't recommend you come here because it's windy 100% <laughs> of the time all both times we've been here it's been windy no it's actually a very nice uh, picnic spot and there was a, um, a bush buck walking around don't feed the bush buck but uh, it's nice to see a bit of game walking around so close and stuff like that and now we're on our way yeah. We are here at Tsunamani Dam and uh, it was a little bit of a mistake. We weren't planning to come down this far and while we were leaving Timbavati someone said oh look let's take this road and we took that road. The S40 and then probably about 10-15 minutes into the drive I suddenly realized the S40 takes us down to Tsunamani Dam. Not where we wanted to go. We're going to just go straight back to the H14 and then go up to Olifants. However, we did see another lion sighting and we saw quite a bit here at the Somali Dam, so it was a good mistake that we made and uh, happy that we did it. And I cannot lie, it wasn't Tracy that uh, made that mistake about <laughs> getting the S40. We just had a, we stopped at Satara for an ice cream and uh, that was after our third lion sighting for the day. Um, but after our first one everything else just didn't really seem to be so, so great. Well, the second one we saw was just basically a, ma a male and female sitting far in the distance and the third one was a male one of its own. And we had been told that there was a lion kill and three zebra and it just sounded too good to be true and when we got there it was too good to be true <laughs> so it was a single male and um yeah the traffic uh, jam to get there was just horrendous and people were just being people so there uh, was a kill but you, you you couldn't see the kill because it was you know the bush is too high it's too thick so ah but to tell you that was the s100 we have seen lions on the s100 So uh, we're on our way back to Malili. We're actually going to go to where we saw the first lion sighting this morning. And we came across a place where people had stopped a roadblock, not a major roadblock, three or four cars. And we got our fourth lion sighting of the day. <laughs> and this was actually quite a nice one too. Um, there's one male under the tree, there was one that was standing up and he actually walked down to the river to go and drink water. We can't see him at the moment because he's still drinking water. It's still a 
an amazing sighting. You may have noticed the shirts we're wearing. These are actually supposed to be pajama shirts or sleep shirts, as I said. But uh, we just liked it, and part of heritage. You grew up on uh, oats, <laughs> and uh, you may have noticed over the last uh, two or three days we've uh, been kind of coordinated, and uh, we don't normally wear these kind of shirts and uh, match when we go to town. So we're not one of those. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we did it as like a bit of a uniform uh, coordination thing for the weekend so hope you enjoyed it and give us some comments about what you thought about it we're sitting here on the banks of the elephants almost right across the river from the early campsite and there's hippo in the water and it's like we're trying to make the most out of this last full day but really since we Spoke to you at early fronts and we left. We've seen so many animals. Unfortunately, it's not the best conditions to photograph them. When I say that, you know, you can, where you can pull off the road, you, there's not many animals, and where the animals are, you can't pull off the road. So I guess they're probably choosing those spots so that we disturb them the least. But wow, it's just so many good animals along the road. Um, saw zebra, elephant giraffe, vultures, fish eagles, hippos, water buck, you name it, it's, these animals are all out at the moment, like coming in force, really really nice and um, with the, the like a sunset drive between Olifants and Baluli, I, or I guess if you want to do the other way, Baluli to Olifants as well if you stay in Olifants, really really worth it. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you have not already done so. And surely asking you to hit the like button is not too much to ask, especially if you have stayed with us for so long. Join us next time as we head home along the eastern border of the Kruger National Park in the heat of the day, where we experience the harsh African conditions, but also experience some of its greatest beauty.